so insanely busy, but at the end of the week, you look back and you're like, hmm, what did I actually accomplish? So many times we fill up our schedule and fill up our plate with all of these things to serve people, to go here, to do this. And it sounds nice on paper. We're serving, we're caring, we're loving. And that's great if that's the heart of it, but check your heart. Is it because you are so driven by people looking at you a certain way or maybe you're not that way and you know you're not, but you wanna live up to their expectations. You wanna please everyone and make them happy and go here and do that and, and make the world a better place for everyone. So you take it all on your shoulders and you're crazy busy. Okay, maybe you just enjoy the things of this world immensely and you wanna be crazy busy. You wanna have your hands in every area and everything. At the time for the banquet, the master sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field, and I must go and see it. Please have me excused. And the other said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. I love, love, love this parable. So the banquet is heaven. And all of these reasons why the guests were saying, no, can't attend, no, can't attend, were just earthly busyness. And Jesus is inviting them to a banquet, heaven, eternal life. And they're saying, no, I have cares of the world to tend to. And so I just wanna encourage you that not only have you been invited to the banquet, but one of your key callings in life is to go out and invite others to the banquet. Don't be so consumed with the things of this world, like those three people in the scripture, that not only do you miss the party, but you're not helping anyone else get there. So much so that you aren't filling your days and your hours with things that are heaven-minded, banquet-minded, kingdom-minded. Um, like even just reading your scripture and knowing what God says so that you can teach it to others, that's time well spent, prayer. That's time well spent, discipleship, serving in a ministry, loving people, visiting the orphans and the widows, whatever it may be. So are there people who hold really high opinions of you that you're proud of and you're glad that they think that about you, but there's a fear that if you don't continue to perform, that those thoughts may change and they'll have a lower view of who you are. That's a scary thing. So this week, I want you to really ask someone who knows you well. Say, look at my schedule. Look at what I do with my life. Do you think that these priorities are really important? And then maybe even sit down and reorganize your life. Just because you're doing good things doesn't mean that one, you're doing them for the right reason, or two, that you're not actually being distracted from filling your life with kingdom building things. So I want you to reflect on Paul's prayer in Philippians 1, 9 through 11. I want you to reflect, I want you to pray about it, and then I want you to look at your calendar for the month and really go over your priorities and see if they match. See if your heart is where it needs to be, and then construct your calendar to help get your heart where it needs to be.